Okay, what's going on everyone? As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be completely fixing up my room. This includes furniture, bedding, and all kinds of new lighting. While my gaming setup is in the works right now, I want to have a nice room somewhere that's just like a vibe to be. If you're new here, welcome. I have a lot of videos like this coming around this summer, so make sure you subscribe. The first thing I'm going to do is set up some of the furniture that I bought. This consists of an Ikea mom dresser and nightstand. They both look super modern and minimal, plus Ikea is kind of just the place to be. Hey bro, what do you want to say to the video? Oh, uh, flipping. <laughs> if there's any ting bots in this video. <laughs> Ah, uh, so it's me again. If it feels like it's been a while, it's because it has. It's literally been like three or four hours. Now it's 10 p.m. I kind of like up on the drawers with the dresser but this is how it looks in my opinion it looks super clean and the storage is so much larger like there's enough space for me to fit some of my clothing items and also to fit some of like tag or miscellaneous stuff also i don't know if you can see but i changed my bedding the new sheets new comforter new pillowcase all that my room looks basic as fuck right now to be honest oh yeah and the nightstand is there but you guys already saw that. For now, that's all I can really do. I'm just gonna wait for these Amazon packages to come in. Believe it or not, there's actually still a lot that I have to do for this room. All right, I just got back from work and uh, look what I found. I actually have no idea if some of those are even mine. I think my family ordered stuff, but we're gonna find out. All right, first box, we're about to find out what's in here. All right, so yeah, this is mine. First, I got a new wireless charger. The one I have right now, it like makes my phone overheat, which is really weird. Got it in white to match with my nightstand. So if I just like, yeah, it works. And then there's a little Apple watch compartment as well. And then you can charge your AirPods on the bottom. I don't know where mine are, so yeah. I'm gonna just put it here. We're gonna fly through these next packages. All right, first, Govi LED strip. RGB IC, which means you control each individual LED. I think I'm gonna put these behind my bed. Here, I got a longer HDMI cable, an HDMI splitter for the TV. Here's a little cable box. You can put a power strip in here just to hide all your cables and all that. A pack of cable raceways, probably for the TV. I got a fire stick. I've had a Roku for like a year now, so I'm trying this out. 10 foot power cable for the TV. A little cover for my switch dock, Velcro, and the power strip. Yeah, those are the majority of the packages there's still two or three more items i need to order but i'm gonna wait on those because they're a little more expensive but they're gonna be really nice so yeah you guys get to watch me put shit together again <laughs> Before I finish setting up all my Amazon products, I want to talk about the company LightMe. LightMe is a company that makes all kinds of RGB products and they actually reached out to me to review one of their products. What I have with me is their LightMe Neo Light Kit. Pretty much their LED strips that go around your TV. What makes them cool though is that as you can see on the box, they actually reflect what's going on on your TV. It comes with these two super thick high quality LED strips. They're made specifically to go around your TV and the setup's pretty simple. You take these four corners that have adhesive, you stick them on each corner of the TV, then you run the LED strip through it then you take the two usb ports and plug it into the back of the neo box there's two usb ports and two hdmi ports one input one output for input you take your switch your xbox whatever you're using and then for output you go from here to your tv you're currently watching my own testing of it and in my opinion it looks super good also i love the idea and the functionality of having this neo box for example govi has a product like this but you have to have a little camera actually facing your tv and it doesn't look the best with this however it looks modern minimal and it's functional also in their Light Me app, there's all kinds of cool features and effects. For simple effects, there's two modes, one called screen, one called music. The screen mode mimics what's on the TV through HDMI, and the music mode responds to any kind of sound. So if I start yelling or talking a little louder, then it'll go off. There's also a larger selection of scenes in the app as well. There are all kinds of modes like rainbow, fire, fireworks, and a whole lot more with color customization. With all the available modes and color options, there's really no limitations to what you can do. All of it is done simply for you. This is a very high quality product, and I'm super Super happy that they reached out to me. Light Me didn't ask me to say anything specific, they just asked for my honest review. And to be honest, I wouldn't review something that I wouldn't even use. So again, big thank you to Light Me. If you want one for yourself, I'll have the link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. All right, with that out of the way, let's go over what I have so far. First is this little area over here. The dresser's all built. On top, I have my Xbox, my Nintendo Switch, 
a fake plant, and a candle. Oh, and the Neo Sync box. For this, I tried to keep the white theme with some little accents of black. For example, with the Switch dock, that's why I got a white cover. The TV is cable managed as well. I have this white raceway. And if you look around the corner, I have the cable box and all the cables. It doesn't really look the best, but it's managed and plus it's hidden here so nobody can see it. Like from almost every angle, you just see the box, which is what I was going for. I don't have the time to fully cable manage the TV. Next up is the bed. I ended up putting an LED strip all around the bed frame. I have this blue chasing effect going in the Govi home map. It looks like this cool little flowing gradient. So that's why I did it. I moved my nano leaves up a little higher. I felt like they were kind of low and on camera they look a little cramped up also if i decide to i can add a couple more over here next to that here's the nightstand super simple neat and clean i love it on it I have my lamp oil diffuser my retainers and my phone charger and then all my controllers just go in here and then the last addition is this laundry basket i got this on amazon for i think like 20 or 30 bucks what's cool is that there are two sides for your darker colored clothes and your whites kind of hard to see on camera but on the left are the whites the right is everything else and it comes with a lid that you just close with velcro that's all i can get done for now and we're one step closer to finishing this room tomorrow i'm gonna pick up a little futon to have next to my bed i'm gonna pick up my boy axel and have him help me out with it if you don't know axel go watch my last video but but this is him. I'm not handicapped, but I keep that cap. You and stole? I said that on the way here. You stole? Yeah, he's a funny guy. But, hey, I'll pick him up around 10 or 11 in the morning. I'm gonna make sure to vlog some of it and bring you guys with me. So yeah, let's go do that. Let's go another drive with your favorite YouTuber. Nah, maybe if I posted more, I would be your favorite YouTuber. And you know, if I streamed more and if I made TikToks more and if I did anything more, it's kind of hard to watch a guy who posts like once every two months, I bet. But hey, this month, I wanna be trying to put out more kinds of videos. Cause like the thing is, I have ideas, but then I feel like they're gonna flop and I just end up doing nothing. So basically, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bitch, pretty much. But hey, if a video flops, we learn from it, I guess. All right, the drive is like maybe 20 minutes. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I get there. Get yeah, up, man. What's up, hot stuff? What's good, bro? How we feeling? Yeah. Feeling good. Yeah, I'm a flash baby. Oh shit! <laughs> you want some water? I know you don't really have that. <laughs> this is the futon. I'm trying to. Okay, you can barely see it, but yeah. You want some chocolate nuts, boy? I do actually. Do you have any? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey! hey. Ah, fuck yeah, bro! <laughs> bro, you know what, bro? I got my braces off, and I haven't had nuts in like four years. Should now I get some. Big chocolate. Uh, is it easier to swallow them? Well, you kind of chew them first, and then. Uh, she said, she said, I don't know if it'll fit in a Prius. We'll make it work. You brought a Mexican. We make everything fit somehow. Do you even know how we cross the border? Fit 200 people in a truck. How? I don't know. But we make it work. Yeah. You said it, not me. Hi. Hi. Let me get my wallet in a second. Yeah. Thank you, that's very sweet of you. Yeah, have a good rest of your day. <laughs> we went through the struggle, but we did it, bro. We did it, bro. Look, we Look. got like four seat belts back here. A rope, we got boxes holding it down. Look, it's not going fucking nowhere. <laughs> the trunk's not closed, but it, it Man, works. that's not gonna open. Cause gravity in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gravity in that, it's just like, yeah, keep going, keep going. What, what else? Well, gravity and like, you know, when the water molecules, you know, hit the edge of the surface, what it does is that it actually hits the bone corral perimeter of the end of the surface. And what that then does is that it holds it down by a gravitational pull of or the All right, uh, let me see how long it's gonna <laughs> take. Uh, we're back home. We're trying to unload the couch right now. I'm gonna pull forward a little bit. Uh, we're about to put it inside. You ready, bro? Let's get this shit out. Yeah. Let's go, we've done uh, it. Get that in. What? Get, or, get the other end, bro. What you doing? Why are you? All right. All right. It's been a few days, and there's a small problem. The uh, the futon doesn't fit here. When it's next to my nightstand and everything is moved, it sits like right on the edge of the wall. And even if I completely move the nightstand, there would be no slack to open the door. So yeah, that's what happens when you don't measure shit before. It sucks, but it's not really a big deal to me. My mom is gonna make use of the futon, and Axel actually gave me an idea for what to do instead. So instead of having a full-on couch. 
We have a full on bean bag instead. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace for super cheap. So I'll kind of just lay here whenever I don't want to mess up my bed. It's also cool to use as like a chair for if guests are here. My first time owning a bean bag. I might move some things around, but that pretty much wraps up the video. I'm happy though, because even though there's a lot of stuff in my room, I feel like I made it really nice and simple. I've been focused on YouTube videos lately, and pretty soon I'll be back to streaming. I'm going to be rebuilding my setup. I don't know if that's going to be here or in another room. There'll be more details on that later. For everybody still here, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot that you're still here. And if you don't subscribe, I'm gonna track you down, so do it. Subscribe, bro. Why are you scared? That's all I have, though, and here's the montage.